Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing okay. I missed you so much. I apologize for being away. I had so much work, but I didn't forget you. Remember that. Okay, this is unit 10, part A. Okay, okay. It changed my life. Changing the life. Now, first of all, everybody look at the picture. My first day in Vietnam. Now, first, listen. School year abroad is a student exchange program. What's exchange? Like Erasmus. You go to different country. Some student comes from different country to your country. Mm -hmm. Like Erasmus. Ex uh, school year abroad is a student exchange program. Every year, hundreds of high school students study abroad and stay with a host family. Mackenzie Nagel, or Nagel was in Vietnam last year with 15 other American students. Match the sentences with the pictures. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. For example, number one. My mother cried at the airport in New York. Yeah. Okay, take your time, do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Now listen and check your answers. 4.2 1. My mother cried at the airport in New York. 2. I talked to the other students on the plane. I was nervous, but excited. 3. We arrived in Vietnam. It was very hot. I didn't like that. 4. Our language teachers greeted us at the hotel. We started our first class in the evening. 5. I learned how to say chào, hello, and gamon, thank you. 6. We walked to a restaurant for dinner. The traffic was crazy. Okay, well done everybody. Now check your answers with your friends, with your partners. Good, let's sleep. Okay, number five. I learned how to say ciao and come on, jump on or something. Thank you. My mother cried at the airport in New York. We arrived in Vietnam. It was very hot. I didn't like it. Pay attention to the highlights. We walked to a restaurant for dinner. The traffic was crazy. I talked to the other students on the plane. I was nervous but excited. Our language teachers greeted us at the hotel. We started our first class in the evening. Good. Well done, everyone. You're doing good. Now, read the story again and complete the chart. What letters do you add to make the positive past form and which verbs is in the negative form? Positive and negative. Okay. For example, my mother cries. When? Right now. In the past, my mother, my mother cried. Yeah. Stop the video. Do it. Check your answers with your partner. Okay, let's do it together, right? My mother cries, my mother cried. I talked to the students, when? Right now. But in the past, I talked to the students. We arrived in Vietnam. So what is the past form? We arrived in Vietnam. I don't like it, I don't like that. Right now, in the past, I didn't like that. Our teachers greet us, our teachers greeted us right we start our first class we started our first class i learned how to say hello i learned how to say hello we walked to a restaurant we walked to a restaurant right well done okay in the next page now everyone simple past past listen and repeat let's do it 4.3 I arrived early. I didn't arrive early. 
You learned Spanish. You didn't learn Spanish. She liked the movie. She didn't like the movie. It rained yesterday. It didn't rain yesterday. We talked to the teacher. We didn't talk to the teacher. You worked late. You didn't work late. They walked to a cafe. They didn't walk to a cafe. Did you visit the museum? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did he cook dinner? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did they study French? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Where did you live? Near the university. What did she study? History and economics. How did you travel to school? By bicycle. Okay, well done. So the positive, I arrived early. When? Yesterday, last week. I didn't arrive early. That's the negative. You use didn't. Okay? You learned Spanish. You didn't learn Spanish. She liked the movie. She didn't like the movie. So as after didn't, the verb comes in the base form, right? It rained yesterday. It didn't rain yesterday. We talked to the teacher. We didn't talk to the teacher. You worked late. You didn't work late. They walked to the cafe. They didn't walk to the cafe. Now, how to make a question? Yes, no questions. Did you visit the museum? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you cook dinner? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did they study French? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Simple. Easy, right? Now, where did you live? Near the university. What did she study? History and economics. How did you travel towards school? By bicycle. Okay? So, as I told you, use the simple past for finished actions. Fanetto, right? The simple past is the same for all persons. For example, I arrived, you arrived, they arrived. Didn't, did not. Word order. If it's positive, subject, you, he, she, it, played soccer. If it's negative, auxiliary. Auxiliary verb, didn't. For example, you, I didn't play soccer. Very good. And verb comes in the base form. Play, go. And question, did you play soccer? And if it's uh, WH, when did you play soccer? Very good. Okay, this is the base form, walk, past, walked. Do you add ED? Rain, rained, start, started, arrive, arrived, change, changed, move, moved, cry, cried, why becomes I, try, tried, prefer, preferred, stop, stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's practice. Now we have two exercises. Write the sentences in the simple past. For example, he listens to mu pop music. He listened to pop music. All right. And complete the dialogue with the bold verbs in the simple past, in the positive form, negative form, or question. For example, play, it's a question. Did you play golf last week? Yes, I played on Saturday. Good. Stop the video. Do it. Check your answers with your partner. Play the video. 
right? Okay, let's start. Number one, they work in a hospital. They worked in a hospital. I finished work late. I finished work late. He likes the movie. He liked the movie. You live in Vietnam. You lived in Vietnam. I studied Spanish. I studied Spanish. She walks to work. She walked to work. He prefers the red car. He preferred the red car. They play tennis. They played tennis. You talk a lot. You talked a lot. The train stops in Shanghai. The train stopped in Shanghai. We exercise in the morning. We exercised in the morning. She changes money at, at a bank near here. She changed money at the bank near here. Now, get it. Next part. Did you play golf last weekend? Yes, I played on Saturday. Where did you park the car? I parked it near the restaurant. Did you finish your homework? No, I didn't. It was very late. What did you study last year? I studied English, math, science and more. When did you arrive in Japan? We arrived very late, around 1 in the morning. Did you cry in the movie? No, I didn't, but my husband cried a lot. Did you like the meal? No, I didn't like it very much. The salad was terrible. What did you watch last night? I didn't watch TV last night. I listened to music and studied. Did it rain last night? No, it didn't rain, but it was very cold and cloudy. Good job. You did well. Good job. Okay, in the next part, pronunciation. Regular, simple past endings. Listen and repeat. 4.4 .4. Dog. D. My mother cried. We arrived in Vietnam. Thai. T. I talked to the students. We walked to a restaurant. Id. Our teachers greeted us. We started our first class. Well done, very good everyone. Okay, so dog d my mother cried. We arrived in Vietnam. Thai t I talked to the students. Talked t. We walked to a restaurant. Okay, it our teachers greeted us. We started our first class. Okay? Now again listen to these sentences. Okay? Very nice and repeat. 4.5 1. My mother cried at the airport in New York. 2. I talked to the other students on the plane. I was nervous, but excited. 3. We arrived in Vietnam. It was very hot. I didn't like that. 4. Our language teachers greeted us at the hotel. We started our first class in the evening. 5. I learned how to say ciao, hello, and Gamon, thank you. Six. We walked to a restaurant for dinner. The traffic was crazy. Okay, well done. Very good. You're doing okay. Speaking, what did you do last weekend, last night, this morning? Tell a partner, make affirmative, positive or negative sentences. For example, last weekend, visit a museum, play sports, clean the house. Last night, watch TV, study English, check my mail, listen to the radio, walk to work or school, exercise. 
For example, this morning I didn't exercise, but last night I exercised at the gym. Mm -hmm. Or for example, this morning I studied English, but last night I didn't study English, I cleaned the house. Okay, talk with your partner. Next part. Now, ask a question. For example, did you study last night? Did you go to the gym last night? Did you play tennis last night? Did you watch TV last night? Ask your partner. Mm -hmm. Okay, now in purse, ask another question questions about the 1A. For example, did McKinsey learn to say hello? Yes, he did. And he also learned how to say thank you, gammon, right? Practice with your partner. Good. Now, everybody match 1 to 7 to A to G. For example, number 1, talk, C. Talk to a friend. Easy. Let's do it together. Okay. Arrive at the airport. Like spicy food. Greet a guest. Start the class. Learn a language. Walk to the office. Right? Great. Okay, next part. Reading and speaking. Look only at the pictures in 1A. These pictures. Can you remember the student's story, Mackenzie's story? Okay, so what happened while Mackenzie was in Vietnam? Make guesses in pairs. Check your guesses. For example, he learned a new language. He learned how to cook Vietnamese food. Do you remember? What did he do? What he didn't do, right? Okay, speak with your partner. Okay, let's check it. Okay, he learned a new language. Yes, he loved the crazy traffic. He loved his host family. He visited a lot of beautiful places. Hmm, not bad. Okay, the reading. Read Mackenzie's blog about his time in Vietnam. How many of your guesses were true in B? Hmm? Okay, I laughed, I learned, and I changed. Okay, very nice. So, first of all, let me read it for you. After a few days in Hanoi, I moved to my host family's house. They were a young husband and wife and their three-year-old son. At our first dinner, I was nervous because my Vietnamese was terrible and their English wasn't great. But it was fun. We laughed a lot. My host mother cooked a delicious meal. I studied Vietnamese every morning and I usually traveled to school by motorcycle taxi. At first, the traffic was terrifying, but after a few days, I loved it. After a few months, my Vietnamese was good. My Vietnamese friends helped me a lot. I ta also talked to people on the streets. I visited a lot of beautiful places in Vietnam, but my favorite thing was the Vietnamese people. They're nice and friendly, and the family is very important to them. I sometimes missed my family in the US. I also missed pizza. There were a few pizza restaurants in Hanoi, but they weren't the same. I changed a lot in five months. I learned a new language and I learned how to enjoy new people and customs. I loved my host family. I'm in the US now and I miss them a lot. I want to go back to Hanoi this summer. So host family means a family of, uh, that the students stay with. I changed a lot. I am a different person now. Go back, return to a place. First, read the text again and find the simple past verbs. For example, I help you. After a few days in Hanoi, I moved. So moved is the past tense. Find the next ones. Okay. Now look at the highlighted words. Terrible, terrifying, friendly, important. What do they mean? Talk to your partner. Check your answers, right? Okay, and the last one. Do you know anyone who lived in another country or city? Where were they? What did they do? Was it fun? Okay, my close friend, Daniela, is a teacher and a translator in Bulgaria. Yeah, so she works in Bulgaria, in Nesaba. She lives by the seaside, by the Black Sea. Her life is perfect. And maybe I visit her someday. She's a very good teacher and she's a very, very successful family woman. And I admire her every day. Wish you the best, Daniela. I miss you a lot.
wish you the best. That's it everybody. I hope that you liked this session. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. I will upload the workbook and everything. And I'm always open to your new ideas. Wish you all the best and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.